focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that Don't let somebody take your time and your worth, just focus on yourself first All right, so I've <clears throat> decided I'm uh, gonna do just a little, uh, little kind of vlog video. Been trying to put out a video, you know, at least once a week, full length video. Uh, kind of gonna just recap what I've been up to. Uh, so last few weeks I've been going, hitting up the. Uh, the local flea market uh, so other than my regular regular survival outdoor videos I do like to collect knives so I uh, like to try and find some cool knives at flea markets yard sales whatever but on top of that I also kind of into locks uh, you know, I pick locks do lock picking technically lock sport it's another little hobby uh, so when I'm out looking for knives I also look for some cool old locks so uh, last couple weekends hit my local flea market got a couple cool locks out there this old Ilco um, I'm not sure what year but it's definitely fairly old um, I don't know if there's a way to figure out, could probably figure out about how old it is. <clears throat> Got this cool old sergeant. Definitely nice locks. Uh, so the, <clears throat> this Ilco was actually made in Fitchburg, Mass, which is, uh, my grandfather used to work there. And, uh, it's actually pretty local to me. <clears throat> the sergeant was actually made in New Haven, Connecticut. You can see it on the top there. Try and get a... I don't know if you can tell with the lighting, but... Try and get another shot of that. <clears throat> and then, uh... Got this old... Kind of railroad style lock. That, uh... It's pretty cool. Uh, this one's lever, le <clears throat> lever lock, keyway, protected. Um, they have not actually picked any of these. This one does appear to be still functional. Just haven't closed it because I don't want to lock and not be able to open it. But it's in good shape. Um, this one actually says Portugal on it. So I have no idea what brand or anything. But it is marked Portugal there. <clears throat> so, there's a couple of my locks I've picked up. Um, but the past couple of weeks, I also found a few cool knives. Showing them on my shorts, but. <clears throat> so, I actually have. <clears throat> I'll show you this one first. This is a. This one here is a hen and rooster pretty cool one um, it does have a little bit of little bit of gunk on it but gonna clean it off still but this is actually marked as one of 300 um, so I do 
need to figure out exactly how rare it is. Um, I know it's a pretty good one. <clears throat> and here I got a Buck 507 Mother of Pearl handle. Um, it's a 1989. <clears throat> Very good condition. I got this and the other knife for five bucks. So I also managed to knock something over. Also picked up last weekend a bunch of other small pen knives. That are fairly fairly good condition. So I know you can't really see with the lighting, but <clears throat> so we got start with this one first. I have a few of these. Um, these bad boys are made in Japan. Not sure the brand, but they have like a bullfight scene on them and like a dragon on the other side. They almost look like a cheap Chinese knife, but they are <clears throat> marked as being made in Japan. Um, fold out, they have a little guard. This one's not in the best shape, but it's cool and I have a few, a few more of these. So I picked it up few bucks whatever <clears throat> um, then I got this Lily uh, it's like Lily pharmaceuticals or something um, this pricing is not what I paid I made a deal she got them like so this one is actually this one's a Shrade, old Shrade made in the U.S. <clears throat> nice little pen knife. This is in actually really good shape. <clears throat> and I got this gold plated, uh, gold top line little necklace pen knife. Little dangler, you can hold it there. This is in good shape too. Not much of the gold's really worn off. So And then this one is a Sheffield single blade. Good shape. Very nice. Nice vintage knife. Made in England. It's marked, marked Richard Sheffield, so it's a fairly old one. And get another shot of these guys. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, cool stuff. It's more of my <clears throat> other hobbies. But yeah, hopefully I can get out. It's raining today. Uh, but plan to do some fall fishing videos soon. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Watch some videos, like, subscribe, help uh, push, push the videos through the algorithm.